We have learned so far that solving systems of, of equations involves finding where two lines intersect. And so far, the only way that we've learned how to find where two lines intersect is by graphing. Graphing is not the only way. There are two other methods, and the one that we're going to be looking at today is substitution. At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to solve a system of linear equations using substitution. All right, the place when we're going to use substitution The place when we will use substitution is when one of the equations is solved for x or y. So if it says y equals, like it's ready to graph, then we can go ahead and use substitutions. The way that we're going to do this, I'm going to go through this method, and then we'll actually do it with some problems so these steps make sense. All right, the first thing is I like to put a star by the equation that is solved for the x or the y. They are going to be our substitute. All right, and then the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to substitute our start equation into the other equation. Right? When we're done with that, we will solve for whatever variable we have in our problem. And then when we're done, we will substitute our answer back into the star equation, and then we're going to write our answer as a point. So we'll write it as something, comma, something, because we're looking for the point of intersection. All right? So now let's do some problems to make that make sense. Okay, this first one, it says to solve each system by substitution, we've got 2x plus y equals negative 2, and we've got y equals x plus 1. All right, the first thing that we're going to do, you'll notice which one of these is ready to graph pretty much is what you're going to be asking yourself, and it's the y equals x plus 1, so that's the one I'm going to put the star by. Okay, so they're our substitute. They're our substitute teacher. They're the person that's going in for us in a ball game, and that's what's going to happen. Now, what is going to happen if you think about substitution? When you have a substitute teacher, that means the real teacher is no longer here, and that substitute goes in the place of the teacher. Okay. In a game, if you have a substitute, let's say um, in a basketball game, when a sub goes in for a person, one person goes out and the other person goes in, otherwise there would be too many players on the court. So when we do this, you'll notice it says y equals, so y is our, that's who we're substituting for. And when it says y equals x plus 1, sometimes I like to circle or box it. I have to box it because I already circled that one. Um, this is who's going in for y. y is being substituted by x plus 1. So what we're going to do is go up into the other equation. We're going to cross off y because y is coming out. And who's coming in in this place? x plus 1 is. Right? So now I'm going to rewrite this top equation. We've got 2x plus x plus 1 equals negative 2. And if we can get that substitution taken care of, everything else is pretty simple. It's just getting the first substitution done. All right, now from here we're going to solve, because that's what it says to solve for the variable. 2x plus 1x would be 3x plus 1 is equal to negative 2. And then we're going to subtract 1 from both sides. So we'll get 3x is equal to negative 3. And then we'll divide both sides by 3, and we'll get x is equal to negative 1. Okay, so we found the x value. Now what we're going to do is go back into the start equation. So we're going to go back up here where I have my star. We now know that x is equal to negative 1. So we're going to put negative 1 in for the x. So negative 1 plus 1 is equal to 0. So y is equal to 0. So my point of intersection, the place where the two lines cross, is at negative 1, 0. That last example probably made perfect sense or it made no sense, so we'll just do a few more to make sure you get it. Let's put a 1 in this spot. We actually want to do substitution again, so we're going to look at which one says x equals or y equals, and you'll notice the second one actually says x equals. This other stuff, there's stuff together, okay? So x equals what? x equals 4y minus 1, which means x is coming out, 4 minus 1 is coming into the game or for a teacher or whatever. So we're going to go into the other equation. X is coming out, remember. So we're going to cross off the X. He's gone. And 4 minus 1 is going in his or her place. All right, so let's write down what we have. We have 2. And then right next to that, we have the 4Y minus 1. So I'm going to put that in parentheses. And then we have plus 2Y equals 3. All right, now from here, it's just a solving problem like we're used to doing. So I'm going to distribute. I'm going to get 8Y minus 2 plus 2y equals 3. And then from here, we'll combine like terms. 8y plus 2y is 10y. 
minus 2 is equal to 3. We'll add 2 to both sides, so we'll get 10y equals 5, and then we'll divide both sides by 10, and we'll get y equals 5 divided by 10 is 1 half, it's not 2. Okay, so now we're set, we found our y, we're going to go back into the start equation. We know that y is 1 half, so I'm going to put 1 half right there. 4 times a half is 2, 2 minus 1 is 1, so our x value is equal to 1. So our point of intersection is 1, 1 half, because we put our x and then our y. All right, problem three, we're going to try one more together before I have you pause the video and try it on your own. However, if you think you're getting pretty good at this by watching already, please go right ahead and try it without me. But otherwise, just stick right with me here. I'm going to put a 10 on this one. And then um, we're going to look at which one says y equals or x equals. It's the top one. Notice this one, the x and the y are on the same side, so that does not work. So this one is, so y is coming out. 5 minus 3x is going in its place. So we're going to come down here. Since y is coming out, we're going to cross off the y, and we're going to put 5 minus 3x in its place. All right, so let's write what we have. We have 2x minus, um, since we have something next to the minus, I'm going to actually put minus 1. Hopefully that makes sense. Equals 10. Okay, because we do have something in there, we have to take care of that minus. So now we're going to write down 2x. We're going to distribute that negative 1. So I'm going to get negative 5 plus 3x equals 10, right? Now I'm going to combine like terms. 3x plus 2x is 5x, minus 5 is equal to 10. I'm then going to add 5 to both sides, so I'm going to get 5x is equal to 15. And then if I divide by 5, I get x is equal to 3. We're halfway done. Now I'm going to go back up into my start equation, and I know that the x is 3, so 3 times 3 is 9, 5 minus 9 is negative 4, so my y value will equal negative 4. So my point of intersection will be 3, negative 4. If I were to graph those two lines, that's where the two lines would cross. Okay, you get to try this next one. What I'd like you to do, first of all, let me put a number in there. Please pause the video at this point in time, try it on your own, get as far as you can, and then come back and see how you did. All right, this first one again, we're going to look at which one says y equals or x equals. It's the top one again, so we're going to start it. So y is coming out, x minus 7 is coming in. So we're going to look at the bottom equation. y is coming out, so we're going to erase the y. We're putting x minus 7 in its place. So if we rewrite this, we're going to have x plus 2, and then in parentheses, I'm going to put the x minus 7 is equal to 4. And then from here, I'm going to have x plus, let's distribute the 2, so I'll get 2x minus 14 equals 4. If you want to put a 1 in front of there, that's fine. 1x plus 2x is 3x, minus 14 is equal to 4. Then let's add 14 to both sides. We'll get 3x is equal to 18. Then we'll divide both sides by 3, and I'll get x equals 6. And then from here, whoop. We're going to go up there, and we know that x is 6. 6 minus 7 is negative 1, so our y is equal to negative 1. So if we were to graph these two lines, they would intersect at the point 6, negative 1. So hopefully you did okay, and hopefully now you can solve a system of equations using substitution.